Hello and welcome to our continuing Kingdom Hearts uh, Let's Play Saga. Uh, this time around we are going to be playing Kingdom Hearts 3D, or Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Originally released for the 3DS. Uh, after that, we'll uh, watch the uh, we'll do the uh, final chapter prologue, and then uh, watch the uh, uh, the fragmentary passage, and then watch the Kingdom Hearts Cross. Or is that key? I don't know. Back cover. But for now, Game Drop Distance HD scaled up from the uh, 3DS. Carry over your spirits? No, I want to start from the beginning. I'm gonna play in standard mode this time because uh, I've been struggling a lot with proud mode and I, I want to enjoy the games. Uh, vibration on. The pedals on. Yes. Hey! Is this how you wanted it? Xehanort! You want to fill me in? I am. Hey! Do you remember now, or...? Wait... Did you never lose your memory? That's not my name. I'm not Xehanort. What? <sighs> my name... Is Ansem. But how far could a raft take us? Who knows? If we have to, we'll think of something else. Riku. A storm's coming. I know. The waves are getting steep. Furl the sail. Right. What sail? Uh, Riku! I'm fine. What's that? <laughs> oh, he was right. Those wretched guppies are here! Well, it's about time. We settled the score! Ursula? But how... Is this the test? Come on! Uh -huh. You can work it out later! All right! Sorry, dearies, but I won't fall for that trick! Okay. Uh, Mentos optional flashbacks.
Pretty easy fight. It's a tutorial boss. What do you want? As you can see, this carries over uh, a lot of birth by sleeps. This world has been connected. All right, mark of mastery exam. As a Keyblade master, Xehanort had a gift like few others. But such great minds are often plagued by a single great question. What is the essence of the human heart that weakens us or empowers us? The answer, he believed, would be found in the Keyblade War. What if the challenges of our past were in fact a map to the light and darkness that battles within us all? Xehanort had to know, so he renounced his duties as master and chose the Seeker's life. Since then, in many a guise, he has clashed with protectors of the light. Keyblade wielders like yourselves. And mark my words, he will trouble us yet again. We must be ready. Which is why you, Sora and Riku, are to be tested for the mark of a true Keyblade master. No doubt you fancy yourselves masters already, but it takes years of training. Only a true master can teach you the proper way. Both of you are self-taught Keyblade wielders. An impressive feat. However, the time has come for you to let go of preconceived notions, forget what you know about the Keyblade, and begin your training again with a clean slate. Huh? Yeah. But that's a formality, right? I already proved myself. Me and the king and Riku, we can take on anything. Right, Riku? I don't know. I think that in my heart, darkness still has a hold. Walking that path that. changed me. I'm not sure if I'm ready to wield a keyblade. Maybe I do need to be tested. Riku. Then count me in. Put me through the test. Just watch. Me and Riku will pass with flying colors. Very well then. Sora and Riku, 
Let your examination begin. All right. You play, you play Masters, Masters Xehanort. Dive. Pretty game with take down enemies and collect prizes from all high speeds. Master rings. to Traverse Town. And my new, uh, costume. My new unicorn. Huh? Sorry. This is... Traverse Town. Hey, what's with my clothes? Must be more of Master Yen Sid's magic. What happened to Riku? Riku! Hello! Riku! Shut it. Huh? Talk about noise. Ah! <laughs> Sora, right? Yeah, but uh, how do you know that? Looks like you're not a player. A player? Come on, keep up. In the game. Players get marked with the time limit. And this game, I can't afford to lose. I need my game partner. Okay. I don't know about any game, but can I help? What? Time out. Do you trust every total stranger you meet? Look, sorry. You're no good. You're not a player. And my pack's with someone else. Okay, so we can't be partners. Why don't I just help you out as your friend? Now we're friends? It's not that easy. Not saying it is, but you could make it easier. Yeah, sounds great. Whatever. Cool. Lead the way. Whoa. Real motion basics. Real motion lets you use your environment to its fullest. Yes, 
Pittsburgh. There you go. With the flow. Yeah, so that's the new aspect of this game, is the flow motion thing. Yeah! <coughs> Um, that was uh, Neku from uh, The World Ends With You, uh, another Square Enix game. Uh, it's a very, uh, very good game. Yeah. I definitely recommend it. Uh, but it's uh, very interesting that they would include them. Characters from The World that Ends With You. I played a bit of the game. Let's see. Reports. Fostering keyblades. Key shaped weapon forged by man um, during the Age of Fairy Tales. Any other origins have yet to be revealed. All keyblades have one thing, one of three natures. Light, darkness, or heart. The last two are exceptional. Most documented keyblades between sword, dark, and rakers are keyblades of light. Uh, the heart must be. The heart must be proven before a keyblade will appear to a master's hand. No lock can withstand a keyblade, nor can any agent of light. Special key chains are allow keyblades' appearance and performance to be altered. Keyblade Master, Guardians of Balance Between Light and Darkness. Uh, through the bequeathing, they choose the next generation of Keyblade Wielders, training their bodies and tem tempering their hearts so they, too, might one day be Keyblade Masters. Uh, while the word Master may be tossed around, only an existing Keyblade Master can pass the title on to its associated powers. Uh, they, they often elect to test candidates with, for the market mastery. Among the Keyblade Masters is one true successor who is tasked with protecting the hollow ground known as the Land of Departure. Master Xehanort, arguably the most powerful Keyblade Master in history and a staunch advocate of the world where light and darkness are equal. In his thirst for knowledge, he allowed his heart to be succumbed to darkness. But such to reproduce the Keyblade Wars, he was thwarted by three young Keyblade wheelers, and his body was seemingly destroyed. However, Keyblade Masters have the power to remove hearts and transfer them to, them to other vessels. Master Xehanort has leveraged his power on the recombination and clash with Sora under a number of identities. Okay. <laughs> he has his power to save the worlds from crisis more than once. Uh, now he has agreed to the Keyblade Mark of, of Mastery Examination Order to retrieve a new power. Uh, he battles to save the worlds, uh, have often pitted him against the darkness of his own hearts. Mysterious man whose identity is masked by a brown robe, served out of Destiny Islands right before his first journey began. Riku has seen him as well, but neither of them ever found out for certain who he was. A human form of Zigbar, uh, Organization 13's members, he became a nobody during the certain experiment. Right. These nocturnal line loops says boost plate the repertoire. Supersonic confusion waves, yep, vampiric draining attacks. Just wonderful. They're cute though. And treasures. I found two.
Reality shift, bend the wheels, swirl around, and reality shift for specifically in each wheel. Pink symbol, stand for reality shift. Try, at, uh, triangle and circle, trigger reality shift. your name? Dream Eaters! That's a weird name. Not me. Them. Luna Puppies. Right. I knew that. Don't let them surround us. Let's split up. Got it. Oh, uh, it's Neku. Huh? Neku Sakuraba. Asked. Neku Sakuraba. That's a mouthful. No, it's really not. <laughs> Come on, Neku. Let's take him. Combat. <laughs> I'm not sure if just getting around, it's also some combat. Thanks. Sliding into enemies will trigger flow motion. Ha! Come on! Ha! Come on! Ha! Come on! Nice. Flow motion weave together dynamic offense, and you'll dominate the battlefield in no time. These things with you, they're Dream Eaters too? Yeah. If I'm gonna survive the game, I'm gonna need some extra help. Think you could control them? Sure. I guess. Dream Eaters. If we are ever to strike down Xehanort, we need the individuals King Mickey spoke of in his letter. We must lead them out of sorrow and slumber and back to our world. To do so, seven sleeping keyholes must be found and unlocked, and a great power retrieved. As you know, every world is walled off from the next, preventing travel between them. In the past, you could bridge these gaps because the walls were broken, or because you could open special lanes with your keyblades. But your new goals, the sleeping keyholes, are harder to reach. You'll recall in your first journey that you brought many worlds back from the darkness, but some never returned completely. They still sleep, cut off from all outside channels. Not even the Heartless can enter. But these sleeping worlds are said to have their own manner of darkness. They are called Dream Eaters. And there are two kinds. Nightmares, which devour happy dreams. And benevolent spirits, which consume the nightmares. The Dream Eaters will guide you. Just as the Heartless once guided you, to the keyhole you seek at the heart of each world. Adorable. Heartless. Meow Wow Wespy. Right, you will often receive dream pieces when you defeat nightmares, hostile dream eaters. They can be used to uh, 
You can use those dream pieces to create spirits, friendly dream eaters. Go in and start by selecting spirits when you're on the main menu. Create spirits. Uh, create, uh, you can create new spirits in two ways, from recipes or from scratch. Uh, to create spirits using recipe, you can collect the materials in advance. Start from scratch from way you'll uh, allow you to create spirits in unexpected ways. Once you have settled on a spirit you want to create, you can sacrifice a deck command to give your creation a stat boost. New spirits as part of your family, be sure to be, give them a meaningful name and lots of TLC. Alright, so let's create a meow wow, cat or dog, boy or girl, friend or uh, fiend. One thing's for sure, this dream eater is adorable. Warning, fire freaks it out. You can use more materials than the recipe requires. Uh, you can create a uh, spirit with higher level or rank than usual. You can also sacrifice one of your commands to give the spirit a stat boost. Various stats bonuses are available. Why not choose a command now and power up your spirit? Five extra hit points. This is the other gimmick of the game. Uh, Pokemon. I mean, spirits. Yeah, wow. Well, level three. I'll stick with Meow Wow. I'm not gonna name him. Looks like you and Meow Wow are off to a great start. So I love to new spirits. Spirits will help you in combat, give them a lots of TLC to increase your affinity, and they will be you will be duly awarded. Training, run along sand spirits, LP can uh, use on their ability board. Smart cookie. Look at him. He's so cute. Now this will be a lot of my, uh, hopefully not a lot of my gameplay. Hopefully I'll, uh, be able to do a lot of this off screen. I see link points. Use them on the ability board. Critical. Link critical with basic attack and spirit attack connect at the same time. Both attacks will power up to some while you're flying. Form a link with this green critical will give the link gauge a huge boost. Each abilities board the first wards, create new spirits and nurture them in the edge of your adventure. Magic 
boost, defense boost. Leaf bracer. Leaf bracer. Heartless. Living embodiments of darkness within our hearts, and therefore the darkness that has been in the world since its inception. Although they originate in our hearts, they have no hearts of their own, hence their name. They instinctively hunt for hearts and survive and reproduce by stealing them. They have no leaders or hierarchy, least of all like the chaotic purebloods which arise spontaneously. Emblem Heartless, those created by the, um, by, artificially by Xehanort's Anson, behave in much the same way. The bigger they are, the harder they claw. It'll take more than a few punches to punch, uh, to punch, punches to the punch to make this lumbering panda see stars. Alright. Let's, uh, or something. Sorry, I like to get rid of all the news. Spared a little more. This wish has now become sidekick. Once it starts getting low like that, with like one experience point, you have to wait a while in order to uh, get it to uh, it's a little, a little bit.
Sir? Bradford Figment. Dark Chocolate. A prickle rain. Bouncy pincushion stakes stick and move to a whole new level. Look at it. Look out when they turn red with rage. Hyperactive and a real handful. These reptiles rocket hard when they roll. Dodge your attacks and then counter. So I don't have anything to make new ones, do I? Just have that one. And we need at least two materials to make anything. come back I brought you Sora we had a bargain what's the matter Neku oh, no way hey that wasn't the deal you said you wouldn't hurt it don't Neku they're too dangerous What? Why am I so sleeping? 
And now the most dreaded part of Drape Drop Distance that most people don't like, forcibly switching you between uh, characters. Am I in Traverse Town? You are. <laughs> My clothes have changed. Sora! Where are you? With the Dream Eater symbol on his back. I remember we fell overboard after Ursula attacked, and then I think we opened a keyhole. So, this must be one of the sleeping worlds. My keyblade. It just sort of popped into my hand when I needed it most. Right. It started. Wow. Huh? Where's your portal? Huh? It takes something special to jump between grounds without one. Who are you? My name is Joshua. What do you mean, portal? Are we just skipping past the part where you tell me your name? Riku. <laughs> Hello there, Riku. Portals are like gateways that link up our worlds. Apparently, the world you and I are standing in right now, well, there are two copies of it. It's been sort of split in half. Portals are what let folks like us cross between them. There can be two of a world? The world is as many things as people need it to be. The concept that we all live in the same world that's just in our heads. Surely you knew. I'll tell you what, Riku. I've got a little errand for you. Sorry. I don't trust you. Aw, <laughs> uh, at least hear me out. I'm looking for a girl named Rhyme. She's the key to the portal. And on the other side, who knows who we'll find? Maybe even your friend, Sora. You know Sora? <laughs> now I have your attention. But unfortunately, I don't know where he is. If he's not in this version of the world, I can only assume he has to be in the other one. Simple logic. Okay. You want to find Rhyme? You got it. Let's go. All right. Reintroduction. Oh, so yeah, you uh I think they'll explain it. Approach pink dot and press X to access blink portal. Once access you face off against or team up with spirits from other worlds. Alright. Slide and dash, fire and sleep. Motion. 
Play of the Dawn. Reports. Game records. Dive mode. Riku. No portals. None so far. Treasures. 32 versus his 34. So this game isn't as floaty as uh Uh, as uh, Joshua, why don't they ever attack you? They being dream eaters? They won't go after you unless you're a dreamer. Which is funny because I've got plenty of dreams. But they're definitely attacking me. So, you think I'm a dreamer? Every human being is a dreamer. Are you saying you're I not had human? a friend once who said he never dreamed of anything. But it turned out that his were the most powerful dreams of all. You sort of remind me of him. Why don't we give your dreams shape? In this world, they take form as dream eaters, which can become great allies. Cory Bat Recipe. I got you huh? now, Joshua! Hmm? Once I take you down, yo, me and Rhymes is going back where we belonged. Beat. How many times do we have to go over this? You've been tricked by that rogue in the black coat. What? Black coats? But that's... I'm telling you, you've made a friend of our enemy. Just can it, all right? Your inverse psychiatry ain't gonna work. Let's go! Dream Eaters! <laughs> what? Ugh, man, not cool! <laughs> hey, what's this? Uh, what's wrong with me? Uh, we could each take the spirits in your own black. We, uh, we fill the spirits link gauge and briefly run to its power. Sora uses Link to team up with spirits to take enemies. Riku changes Link's styles, absorbing his spirits to power up his combos for a period of time. Link Gage will refill lots of spirits to connect to the enemies. Uh, once Link Command press triangle, Link with two spirits on the and do a duel with him.
what? Forget it. This is stale, yo. <laughs> Playing the tough guy 24-7? I'd be worn out, too. I just want to protect the one person who matters. <laughs> I know the feeling. Ugh. Why am I suddenly so sleepy? Long ago, in the age of fairy tales, the world was filled with light, a gift many believed from an unseen power known as Kingdom Hearts. You see, Kingdom Hearts was protected by its counterpart, the Keyblade, so that none could ever lay hands on its mysteries. But in time, the world was overrun by legions who wanted the light all for themselves, and the first shadows were cast upon the land. These warriors crafted Keyblades in the image of the original Keyblade and waged a great war over Kingdom Hearts. We call this the Keyblade War. But though the war extinguished all light from the world, the darkness could not reach the brightness inside every child's heart. With that light, the world was remade as we know it today, with countless smaller worlds shining like stars in the sky. As for the real Keyblade, it did not survive the battle. The two elements that created it, one of darkness and one of light, shattered into twenty pieces, seven of light, thirteen of darkness. And as for the source of all light, the one true Kingdom Hearts, it was swallowed by the darkness, never to be seen again. As long as it remains there, even the brightest world will have its dark corners. After all, light begets darkness, and darkness is drawn to light. For this reason, some decided to use the Keyblade, a weapon designed to conquer the light, to defend the light instead. These were the first heroes of the Keyblade. Welcome back, Sora. Uh. Huh? <clears throat> Where is he? Huh? Huh? They're both gone. Okay. Before I fell asleep, Neku said that he and that creep in the coat had a deal. But what was the deal? Are the two of them in league? That can't be right. We never even found Neku's partner. I guess I should just take a look around. Alright, dropping between characters in this game, you'll alternate between Sora and Riku in progress in the story. Uh, to drop or switch between characters, select the drop and pause menu and press triangle. Upgage continues to decrease as you explore the field. Sleep and other negative statuses will drop. Make a pleasant drop which turn more quickly. When time runs out, so you'll have bonus time and droplets will appear more often. After the bonus time ends, you'll drop it to the next character. Alright. Yeah, yeah, ha! Shoot. Hey! Yeah, yeah, ha! Yeah, ha, yeah! Ha, yeah, ha! Freeze! Fight! Ha! Stop! Hey. Yeah. 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 Yeah, hey, ha! Yeah, hey, ha! Right, we're just about out of time. Hey, ha! Yeah! 
to explore Traverse Town next time. Until next time, though, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a like. Share, comment, subscribe. It always helps me out. And as always, have a good day, and take care.